The double green was really a, a most amazing evolution. I mean, it was two holes that were playing in there, the fourth green on the right and the 13th green on the left. And I think, you know, we'd always seen them. They'd always sat there on the routing plan. We had two, uh, we had two holes playing into, the, into this big dune. And one day when we were walking around, Mike Kaiser, he, uh, he looked where the flag position where I had them marked out on the ground and, and just made the comment. He said, what, what about a double green? And I remember that. At remember the time, I'm going like, I don't you know? know if that's so uh, advisable, but on the other hand, we're right beside the ocean. It's, it's, it, it just seemed like if you were ever going to build one, this could be the place to do it. You know, I think the real impetus in Mike's mind was the fourth green would suddenly be backdrop more by the ocean and more by Marguerite Island. And I think that, you know, to have that was appealing as a backdrop, but it was sort of a, almost a haphazard comment that was just something somebody threw out when we were walking around. And we got up to the green and we looked at it and Rod said, Given that the, the grassing was going to be fescue, uh, it made sense to build the double green if you'd if you didn't quite like the way it sat in there, you could change the mowing pattern a little bit. Because you look at it today, you know, St. Andrews with seven double greens is, uh, you know, is obviously an amazing testament to how they work. But I think what Rod crafted there and what's sort of now a central part of the course and you get to it on the fourth hole early and you sort of see the 13th literally connected, you see 14 nearby. I think it's, uh, it's just tremendous and it worked out so well and I think if we hadn't evolved into that, you know, the course would have somehow been lesser for it. In the end, I think it just turned out kind of exactly the way we wanted it to.